Hi, and welcome to Paired Programmers Present GitHub Pages. I am Keith Ott. And I'm Paul Weldon. And today we're going to walk you through setting up your very own GitHub Pages. So, let's, uh, let's kick this off here, and uh, we're maybe a little overview here. First of all, what is GitHub Pages? Maybe you know, maybe you don't, but we're going to tell you. And uh, then we're going to talk about why we're actually using it, and then we're going to talk about what, what are we actually walking through. We're going to walk you through the whole step of how to actually set one up, and optionally, if you're interested, set one up with your domain provider. I'm totally up to you. It's not necessary, but if you want to end up at the end with something like yourawesomesite.com, you're going to need one. But before we get into that, there's a couple of things. So, uh, Paul, could, could, could you tell me what, what I actually need to have set up before I do this? Sure. Uh, the first thing I'll note, though, is uh, don't worry about trying to write down any URLs. They're all going to be in the video description down below. Uh, so the first thing that you should already have, if not, go get it, is a Git client. Uh, you could use GitHub for Windows, GitHub for Mac, uh, just the Git command line. We're just going to use the command line today. Um, you're also going to want a text editor, Notepad++, WebStorm, whatever you like to use. Obviously, you're also going to need a GitHub account. This is where we're going to actually be making the repository and putting the GitHub pages. And like Keith mentioned before, also optionally a domain so that you could have www, your awesome site, point directly to your GitHub page. So without further ado, let's uh, jump over GitHub pages. Uh, so what, what is GitHub pages? And like I said, check out the link below. Uh, it's, everything's in the description. You just click, click the link from there. Don't worry about writing this down. But what GitHub Pages allows you to do is instead of buying uh, hosting through, say, uh, like a GoDaddy or DreamHost or whatever, uh, you can just use your GitHub repository, push your changes out there, and you can host it right through there, connect it to your domain. And as you can see, things are flying through here. Bootstrap, uh, Yeoman was on here before. There's a lot of major projects that actually go ahead and use this. Now, they'll also walk you through, uh, if you wanted to have more of a uh, hand-holding, they walk you through exactly the steps you need. We'll do that, and we've gone through it before, too. So we've uh, worked through some of the uh, hiccups that uh, they, they don't necessarily talk about. So without further ado, I suppose, do you think we should create a GitHub repo here, Paul? Oh, I think we should. All right, all right. So I'm going to jump over to my uh, GitHub uh, page here. Uh, just go ahead and sign up for an account if you don't have it. So I'm going to click New Repository. So this is the most important thing. And as you can see, <laughs> Firefox already knows what it should be. The most important thing is that it has to be uh, the name of your account, .github.io. It has to match that exactly or this won't work. So we're going to go ahead and enter this here. Description is optional. If you want it, that's great. If not, uh, if you're paying for one, um, we're not. Free account is fine, so we're just going to go ahead and use public. Otherwise, you have the option for private. Um, and we can initialize the repository with README. Paul, would you like a README in this? Oh, I'd like to be able to clone it right away. Yeah, do it. All right, so let's do everything. So we're going to go ahead and check that. Do it all right away. So we're going to go ahead and create repository. We've got a great repository here. So jumping over to a command line. Uh, once again, whatever uh, Git uh, client you want to use, like I said, we're using the command line one here. You can use whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this. So git clone, my clone URL down here, paste it in here. And I'm going to pull it down. So we can jump over here. You see pairedprogrammers.github.io is here. So if I go in here, there's this initial readme. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is uh, go ahead and create our actual web page. So a um, variety of ways you can do it. I'm just going to create a new text document, call it index.html, and go ahead and change that here. So this is where you'd go ahead, you'd open it up in whatever your favorite text editor, or even your not favorite text editor. I It, it doesn't... I, Whatever you want, you know. Whatever's the flavor. Yeah, pretty much so. So I'm going to type incredibly quick here and go ahead and create this document here. Uh, very, very detailed page. Um, actually, all joking aside, 
can pretty much do whatever you want with it. It's just an HTML page. We're just pulling in some basic bootstrap themes here, uh, nothing crazy or anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, actually there's another thing we should do first. So well, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and push this one up here. So I'm going to do a get, actually let me get into the directory and do a get add star. As we can see, it's in there. Going to do an initial commit here and get push. And I guess I never set this up, but you may have to do this if it's your first time. Well, either way, actually, username will be this, excuse me. Get programmers. My password is star, 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 star. Save you hackers some time. And we now have, I'm going to refresh here. We have our index up here. So um, at this one, if we were to actually go to uh, pairedprogrammers.github.io, that a new tab here. If I said I wanted to go to paired programmers like github.io. Uh, so what this will happen here is it's going to, in the background, it'll start taking up to 10 minutes to actually publish it. Uh, there's, uh, I mean, Paul, how many projects do you think are on GitHub? More than 10. There's more than 10 projects. So their servers can take a little bit of time to actually go ahead and hammer through all this. So while that's doing, uh, so that's really all there is to it. Um, this will actually let you go to pairedprogrammers.github.io. Uh, if you don't even have a domain at this point, you're pretty much good to go. Now, uh, if you do have a domain, a couple other things we've got to do here. So the first thing we'll want to do is create a CNAME record uh, actually within the repository itself. This is what connects when you go to pairedprogrammers.github.io. It allows GitHub to know well, what's the actual domain that I should be going to? So this one is really easy. I'm going to enter the domain uh, with no www, no sub, anything like that. Just a text file with just the domain in it. So in this case, it's pairedprogrammers.com. I'm going to go ahead and save this. We're going to put this right in the directory that we checked it out into. We're going to call it CNAME. No file extension, nothing, just straight a file called CNAME. We jump over here, we can see it says CNAME. Now, you might have to, if you're on Windows, uh, by default it likes to hide extensions. If you go under Tools, Folder Options, uh, and under Views, you can in here, where am I going? Yes, hide extensions for known file types. You might want to uncheck that just to verify. So I'm going to go ahead and add and push that up. Um, added CNAME file. Get push. Enter star, 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 star again. All right, so now if we jump back over here, we can see we have the CNAME added. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and actually configure uh, your domain. Now, um, everything is going to look a little bit different. Uh, this is GoDaddy. Um, this is what we registered ours through. If you, it, it'll work through anything. It really doesn't matter. But there's a couple things you want to do. You want to make sure uh, your CNAME alias, the www, is pointed to pairedprogrammers.github.io. Also, you're going to want to create two A records. Uh, you'll need to have one pointed to 192.30.252.153 and the other one to 154. Uh, check out the links in the uh, uh, description below. Uh, this is actually taken off of the GitHub pages documentation stuff. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that's all down there for you too. So you don't have to worry about writing that down. So at that point, once that's all set up, you've got this. If you'll go to pairedprogrammers.com. Uh, this will actually then go directly to it. And this will also go to it. So we're going to come back in just a couple minutes here. Uh, we're going to let uh, GitHub have some processing time here. And uh, once it's done, we'll show everything that it's, uh, that it's working. So as we can see now, uh, it took a little bit of time to process, but pairedprogrammers.com is now pointing to our actual website here. 
Uh, a couple things to keep in mind, though, it takes about 10 minutes for the uh, project uh, account. So in the case of paired programmers, pairedprogrammers.github.io, for that one, it takes about 10 minutes, whereas for when actually go through for your domain, this one took probably about 30 minutes for it to fully process. Um, and depending on the amount of load, it's getting a little bit later at night here. If you're doing this during the day, it might take even longer. So you might see if you go to pairedprogrammers.github.io, it'll appear, but it won't appear on your domain. Give it a little bit of time. It just needs some additional processing time. So to kind of wrap things up here, making a GitHub page is easy. There's really not much to it. You're just pushing to a GitHub repository, which you probably already know how to do anyway. And it's a cost-effective way of promoting your work. Uh, and it allows you, you can do it on multiple levels. You can do it on your overall GitHub account, or you can do it on a specific project level, too. So once again, we are the Paired Programmers. I'm Keith Ott. And I'm Paul Weldon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and subscribe to YouTube. And check it all out below on the, uh, in the uh, description beneath. Thanks for watching.